Hello, I'm Mrs. Newman, the proud principal of Hess K-8 School. Welcome to our kindergarten orientation. Thank you to those who have joined us to learn more about our kindergarten program at Hess K-8. We are proud to offer a developmentally appropriate learning environment by using authentic educational practices. We love watching our students develop and grow from their early childhood and continue through adolescence. We have created this presentation to provide our parents a resource for the kindergarten experience. We believe it takes a village to support all learners. Our teachers and support staff do an amazing job working with our school family. This afternoon's agenda link is located in the chat box. Due to technology constraints, we have pre-recorded the orientation information. If you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to post in the chat box. Our team is here live to support any questions that you may have. I would like to introduce our support staff. Ms. Erica Ross, Elementary Assistant Principal, Ms. Cookie Brookshire, Information Specialist, Nurse Ramsey, and Nurse Miller, Mrs. Sykes, our Media Specialist, and Mr. Forham, our School Counselor. Our kindergarten teachers are Ms. Mikelski, Mrs. Lucas, Mrs. Cheney, Mrs. Chapman, and Mrs. Harmon. And last but not least, those educators who are, who are a vital support for our team, our pair professionals, Mrs. Lubeck, Mrs. Garrett, Mrs. Aletto, Mrs. Aquino, and Mrs. Norwood. At the end of our presentation, our team will answer each question and provide the information needed. Thank you again for attending. We are excited to welcome our kindergarten students back to school in August. I would like to introduce our next presenter, Mrs. Cookie Brookshire, our School Information Specialist. Good evening, my name is Cookie Brookshire. I'm the Information Specialist. I'm here to talk to you about kindergarten registration. All registration is completed online for 21-22. The required documents needed is the child's birth certificate, the child must be five before September 1st, 2021. Georgia Certificate of Immunization, which is Form 3231. Georgia EED, which is the eyes, ears, and dental, must be on Form 3300. You will need a current proof of address. Accepted proof of addresses are electric bill, gas bill, water bill, or a lease agreement will be accepted. Picture ID of a person registering the student. If you have any further questions about registration for your kindergarten student, just feel free to call the office at 912-395-6440. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to kindergarten orientation. My name is Samantha Ramsey. I'm one of the two school nurses here at Hess. For the next few slides, I'm going to go over some basic nursing information and what to do if your child will need any nursing services through the school day. If you have a child with a chronic illness, please be sure to discuss this with his or her teacher and one of our nurses before the start of the school year. We will also need to be updated if there are any changes in your child's care. If your child requires any medical supplies or medication through the school day, you will need to provide this to the school nurse. Some common chronic illnesses that require specific forms include asthma, diabetes, severe food or bug allergies, seizures, and a medication authorization form. All medication needs to be brought in by a parent or guardian and signed into the nurse's office. The parent must complete a medication authorization form for each type of medication that will be given at the school. All prescription medication must be in the original bottle from the pharmacy. The label must include the prescription, the child's name, the medication name, dose, and time to be given. 
all over-the-counter medication needs to be in a new unopened container that is not expired. In the event that your child is sick and needs to be picked up from school, one of the nurses will call you. A child would need to be picked up from school if they have a fever of 100.4 or greater orally, active lice, vomiting or diarrhea, or red draining eye. All students will be, need to be up to date on their immunization and the immunization audit will be completed within the first month of school. The state of Georgia requires all students enrolled in kindergarten to be up to date on their vaccines. You will need the form shown, which is a 3231, and the box will need to be checked complete kindergarten through sixth grade. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the clinic and discuss any specific concerns for your child. Our clinic phone number is 912-395-6446. Thank you. Hello families. I am Mrs. Erica Ross, elementary assistant principal, administrator that supports kindergarten. I would like to share some information from my nutrition and transportation department. Breakfast is free to all SCC PSS students. Lunch is $3 daily, full price, 40 cents daily, reduced, and milk costs 75 cents. All SCC PSS students have a meal account identified by a personal identification number at the cash register. The computer records the meal and deducts the amount appropriate from the student's account. There are three acceptable forms of payment for school lunch. Those are cash, money order, myschoolbucks.com. Cash and or money order may be brought daily or put on the child's account at the cafeteria. Myschoolbucks.com is an online prepayment option in which parents electronically place funds on their child's account. This method is encouraged. To create an account, you will simply need the student ID. Same status feed. If a kindergartner has a sibling that's older that eats free or reduced lunch, the child will be able to eat on the same status until mid-September, typically around the 20th. We just need to know the older sibling's full name, which can be given to the kindergarten students. Teacher. A new lunch application must be done each year. If the child has a sibling in any SCC PSS school, parents should complete one application per household and I'll add all other children to that application. You can apply for free reduced lunch at www.myschoolapps.com. Allergies. A dietary form that must be filled out by the child's doctor has to be done to alert the school of allergies. Parents can request the form from the child's teacher. When the form is filled out, it has to be signed and stamped by the doctor, not the parent. Three different entrees are typically served, so if the child is allergic to something, there will be other choices. If a child cannot drink milk, juice is not given in its place. You might want to send something else. If the child does not have money, they will receive an alternative meal that can only be given out three times before a social worker referral is done. The alternative meal is not PB&J. We offer a meat or cheese sandwich, fruit, and milk. All menu options are subject to change. As of now, we are not sure if the free status will continue into the new school year, but we will provide updates as received. Any further questions, contact Mrs. Trichia Williams, Nutrition Manager. You can contact her by email at the email address displayed on the screen, or you can call 912-395-6440. Transportation. In a typical school year, parents may choose different modes of transportation to include car rider, bus rider, walker, and daycare. Bus routes will be released by the district in July before school starts. Our school arrival and dismissal times may change based on decisions made by the school board. If you choose to be a car rider, the entrance to the school is located in the rear on Old Montgomery. Signs are posted and we've included a map here for your convenience.
If you have any other questions about transportation, you can contact elementary assistant principal, Erica Ross, myself, uh, via email at erica.ross at sccpss.com. That's E-R-I-C-A dot R-O-S-S at S-C-C-P-S-S dot com or call 912-395-6440. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Katie Nikowski and I am here to represent the kindergarten teachers. To begin, I'm going to discuss the kindergarten readiness skills. Tying shoes and dressing. For example, if your child's shoe falls off, we would like them to be able to put it back on themselves, buttoning themselves and pulling up pants. I know it kind of seems a little silly, but it is, these are skills that some of the kindergartners still struggle with. Cutting, learning their address, their phone number and birthday, identifying letters, letter sounds and numbers, counting to 100, writing their first and last name, manners, and of course, read, read, read. Try to read with your child as much as possible. The kindergarten curriculum. Instruction is based on the Georgia Standards of Excellence for the English Language Arts and Math. Science and Social Studies are integrated into math and ELA curriculum. Each teacher designs instruction based on individual students' needs and the unique characteristics of their own classroom. For more information about our standards, go to www.georgiastandards.org. Kindergarten has many different assessments. We do the G-Kids readiness check. This is based on letter, letter sounds, identification, counting, sorting, map testing, which is the measuring academic progress, this is for ELA and math. We are now incorporating iReady. This was new this year, and it is a comprehensive assessment and instructional program that helps differentiate instruction based on their skill le level. Our kids have absolutely loved it this year. Informal assessment, which includes observations, work samples, classroom participation, and writing assignments. A typical kindergarten day takes place in a print-rich environment, writing across the curriculum, multiple methods in math, cooperative skills, nurturing environment, exploratory, responsible thinking, and social skills. This is a typical kindergarten day schedule. They arrive and unpack. They work on morning work, which could include some eye ready practice. We say the pledge, na national anthem, bear TV, which is our morning announcements. We have our morning meeting, which is calendar and also includes calendar math. This segues into Eureka math. Eureka Math is our comprehensive math curriculum that teaches the students problem-solving strategies. We have special area, which is our connections, which include, but not always every semester, music, PE, Spanish, art, story time, and STEAM and computer. Lunch, we have Wilson Foundations, which is our phonics and word work program. This is where students get wholesome phonics and phonemic awareness instruction. We have flex time, which is targeted instruction for each individual child. Writing, which is the six plus one, one writing traits. This teaches the fundamental of writing for kindergartners. Recess and balanced literacy, which includes read alouds, guided reading in small groups, and science and social studies are incorporated. And then we pack and snack. Some daily reminders. Green teacher communication folders will be sent home daily in your child's book bag. Included communication about students' behavior, and it should be returned to school each day. 
If your child is buying school lunch, they should have money on their account, or you could put it in their child's communication folder. Daily snack also needs to be provided from home. If a child forgets something, we do have extra snack on hand, but it is limited. It should be packed in a separate form of lunch bag or container. If it's in your child's lunch box, the student is likely to eat it at lunch. This is our school supply list. I'm not going to read the entire list off because this will be provided at a later, later date on our HESS website and also in local Walmarts. Just to explain some things on our school supply list, your child must have a mesh or clear book bag. We have a note saying, um, please notice our brand names that we are requesting. And it's because these items we have found to last longer. What is a primary con composition book? I have included a picture, and if you open it up, it has those specific writing lines to help your child write properly. And why a change of uniform clothing with undergarments is so important? Well, we know children still have accidents, and if they spill milk or get something on them, we would like them to have a change of clothes. The nurse's station is limited when it comes to spare clothes. The following items are requested but not required, and we have a teacher wish list. These are just cleaning supplies, packs of paper, and things like that to help your child's teacher. The following is our uniform policy. We understand that the uniform policy has been lax this year. This is for a typical school year, so we want to make sure you are prepared. Your child's shirt and top should be a hunter green or white. Bottoms must be khaki or navy. Socks, tights, or leggings should be solid white, navy, or black. Undershirts, if warm, must be a solid white. Hoodies that do not unzip all the way are never allowed. Sweaters and jackets worn in the building must be a solid hunter green navy, black, or white. Belts, if worn, because we know kindergartners have a hard time with them, must be navy, black, or brown. Shoes must have fully enclosed toed shoes. And practice tucking in your shirt this summer. The following is our cold weather dress code reminders. These are just examples of the acceptable sweaters and hoodies and pictures of ones that are not following the dress code. We wanna thank you for attending tonight and welcome to the Hess family. Anything the teachers believe they can accomplish alone, they can do better in collaboration with parents. Peter Hannon. The start of the kindergarten year is a huge milestone for your children and yourselves. We look forward to making wonderful memories and having a successful year of learning and development. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Our registration link will be live on our school website on Thursday, March 25th, and will also be available via our HESS K-8 Facebook page. Thank you so very much. We are excited for the 2021-2022 school year.